Good morning, good Thursday morning to you all. It's your brother, your good brother, whoever I may be, day day the intercessor. Just want to come on here and just share a, a fact about me, but then I also want to share something that is heavy on my heart this morning. One thing that a lot of people or a lot of you may not know about me, but only a few do. And this video is only for a few people. It's not for everybody. And this goes for both YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook. Because this video will be posted on those three media outlets and platforms. I am really good at pretending. Really good at pretending. Um, you know, I don't tell everybody everything I don't share with everybody because not everybody is meant to know not everybody cares not everybody has my good intentions so even when I'm laughing even when I'm joking around even when I put a smile on my face all of these things whatever I'm doing whether I'm praising whether I'm worshiping whether I'm praying I'm pretending not pretending to pray, not pretending to worship any of those things because I'm a worshiper, I'm a praiser, and I'm an intercessor. Those things are some things that I love to do. Those are my favorite things to do every single day. But I'm good at pretending like I'm okay when in really reality, on the inside, I'm crying for help. And really, I'm crying for help from God, not from man, because man can't give me what God can give me. And that's just one thing that I did want to share is that I'm good at pretending, you know. And, you know, you just get to that point where you get tired of pretending, you know. And you guys know what I mean, basically, when I say that. Um, but one thing that I do want to say, and this is a public thing that I want to say is, and these are people, close people in my life that I'm calling out, and there are more, but these are just some that I'm calling out, but I want to say to every dream, to every Shaquille, to every, to every Devin, every Vaughn, every Omar, to those of you that I have called out, especially to every dream, and most importantly to every Shaquille. I just want to say this to you personally. I truly, with all my heart, mind, and soul, and spirit, and God is my witness because I truly do love Him with all my heart, mind, spirit, and soul. I want to say to you that I love you guys. All of you. You guys are awesome. You guys are important in my life. I trust you guys. And like I said, if I've ever hurt you, which in some instances I have hurt you, I want to say personally, without putting any, of course, business out there because I'm not doing that, I want to say personally that for one, I repent to you and I repent to the Lord, but I want to apologize for my behavior, my actions, um, my activities. I just want to apologize for everything that I may have done, participated in, or have said to make you feel less of a person, to make you feel like you're not important. And this isn't just for you guys, but this is just for those that I have come across. Any brothers in Christ, any sisters in Christ, which were all in Christ Jesus. I just want to say, even to my family, I just want to say that. I do because I don't ever want to become a person where you have to be afraid to talk to, where you're scared to talk to me because of what I may say or, you know, my mouth. Because I know sometimes I can come off a little rough, a little rude, and even though I don't believe in using this word, a little cocky. But... I just want to apologize, and I just want to ask that you would forgive me, and that we can move on 
and go and grow and build something greater and bigger. Like I said, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes like my auntie always used to tell me. We fall short of the glory of God every single day. And even the word says that. And I'm not perfect. And I do. So if I've done or said or participated in anything that offended you to the most high, which I know I have, I want to apologize to you. And asking you, just give me a chance to prove and to show you that I could be the person that you know I can be. And not just saying this to you, but also saying this to the Father in public, you know. Because at the end of the day, I'm getting older, I'm not getting any younger. And I can't continue to allow my past to interrupt or come against my future. I can't. I can't continue to allow my past to forecast my future. The past is the past. I want to look forward to the future. I want to learn how to be loyal. I want to learn how to be faithful, not just to God, but the people that God puts in my life. I don't want to mistreat or use anybody, whether they're outside of the church or inside of the church. I don't want to be a hypocrite. Let me put it that way. I don't want to say one thing, but then it comes out to be a total different thing, is what I'm saying. And that's where my heart is on this morning, because my heart has been heavy, and I can't blame it all on the enemy, even though in some way it is an attack from the enemy, but at the same token, it also is some of what I've done and what I've participated in. Like I said, I'm not perfect. Yes, I'm known to be a powerful, powerful intercessor. Yes, I'm known to be a dreamer that sees prophetic dreams. I'm known for these things. I'm known for being a praiser. I'm known for being a worshiper because these are some of my favorite things to do. But at the same token, I mess up. I'm human daily. I'm fighting the flesh trying to put the spirit in its place but we all know the spirit don't like the flesh and the flesh don't like the spirit so and every day I'm just crying out for help crying out for God to come by my house and change me and fix me so that I could be the person the brother the friend the whomever I am in your life that God has called me to be. So this is my message, not just to the Father, most importantly, but to you. I love you, and I do. I always will, no matter what. And I'm just asking and praying First to the Father that He will have mercy on my soul to prove myself worthy of this anointing, of this gift that He has given me. Because I know gifts come without repentance, as the Word of God says. But I'm also asking you, as a friend, as a loved one, as someone close to my heart, to give me another chance to prove myself also to trust me with your heart and with your things will it happen overnight no yes it will take time that's why I make this promise on this day to do everything I can to do everything that I can so that trust can be put back into the picture not just in my relationship with the father but in my relationship with you I love you I love the Lord and I just pray that you have a blessed day and that you will accept this in Jesus name Amen love you